All right, so as promised, gold coating with some of these parts. This is the coating machine. And uh, get the parts loaded up here. See the uh, gold here. All right, let me get this started. So vacuuming the, uh, the chamber here. So, let's throw out some gas. We're going to pulse this. Throw out some voltage. So, what this is doing is it has argon gas and it's uh, creating a gold plasma that will coat the, uh, the pieces and then they'll find their bowl. Kind of neat. So I'll let this run and uh, see what happens. Alright, so this is what the uh, parts look like after uh, 20 minutes of coating in the gold coater. And you can see one that's not coated here. And uh, you can see, oh my gosh, can't see in there at all because of the gold coating process. But uh, very cool. A couple minutes left, and we'll take a look at these ones also. Yes, these are turning out quite nicely. It's hard to see how real shiny that they are. But uh, we're getting ready to do these. A couple of these are going in for a second coat just to see what it looks like. So let's see what these look like after a few minutes in the gold coating. Alright, so this is after the first round of uh, gold coating on these. Mm -hmm. And uh, this will focus. You can make out a lot more of the detail and the mermaids and everything, the fish. It looks looks absolutely fantastic. So working on the model here, and uh, instructions say a little 45 degree along this edge here. So using the file and slowly working in that uh, that 45 degree angle. So it goes all along this edge. Update on the uh, the progress of the ship here. And see we did all the uh, spline and the bulkheads glued all in place nice and square it's fairly difficult to uh, uh, cut them out of the the, the pattern stock and uh, they were all sanded smooth and on the front we uh, beveled the edges as per the instructions on these pieces to help with the, uh, um, the the side when it comes across, and then the uh, the back as well. So not too bad a progress. Uh, a really large ship, you can see with my with my hand. It's um, 28 inches right now, tip to tail, bow to stern, 
get my shipping stuff going, get my pirate talk on. So, not too bad. So, what I've done is I cut out the uh, um, the cross braces like you see here in this area and this area so that I can put the LED lights here painted this and have this piece ready to go and as you can see trying to zoom out a little bit the uh, ship is quite large very cool I'll be adding a lot of lights and everything to it the lights I changed from the ones that the kit had the kit did not have the, the flame LED uh, style lights so I changed those out into some I already had that were the flame style and uh, put a picture on the back where if you do look through the windows you can see the interior of the of the pearl and I'll be doing something similar on the, the sides here when I get to that It's all the blocks for the cannon. And some of the wiring. 